gonna start this business and we're good to go all right guys so um here it is like you know kind of late at night but what i discovered was that we have strangers of paradise as a demo so let's go ahead and play it because why not i like team ninja i like koei tecmo i like final fantasy why wouldn't i play it that'd be insane so let's go ahead and uh get it going um i'm real stoked because i saw the trailer and as many as many memes came out as like just people screaming chaos and yelling chaos that didn't really bother me a whole lot because you may not know this about me but i'm playing with video games for a long time and there have been worse things i mean really worse yeah i suppose there's been some bad parts but you know Okay, I feel like there's been worse memes. I don't know. But this is on PS5, so we're going to go ahead and give it a shot. <laughs> it's hard to think of one. Uh, the title is currently under development and subject to change in the full version. I can guarantee you some lines are going to be cut. That's okay, though. Now, for me, I didn't start playing Final Fantasy until about like 6, 7. So I was one of those PlayStation guys where I went, Oh, look at this. Japanese RPGs. What are those? And, you know, as a wee lad, I had no idea. So, if all you guys are calling me scrubs, that's fine. I don't mind being, I, I guess, you know, late to the bandwagon. A hard mode for players looking to take on tough enemies. You can also obtain stronger equipment with some limitations. Okay, so there's gear levels. Um, hmm. Do we dare go hard mode? Yeah, yeah. Let's do it, game. Unless you were supposed to play normal first and then hard mode second. Uh, when locked down, X to break your fall. L determines probably time to X will only be invulnerable. All right, next hint. Wall splat. Oh, God, I'm going to get a wall splat so hard. Um, usability is not going to be back. Parry. Oh, we're not going to do that one. Down. Super simple. Great swords. Actions. You know what? Let's just get into it. See if it's like a Final Fantasy. Whoa. When do we start this? Oh, start the tutorial. Okay. Okay. Lock on. Oh, Jesus Christ! Get you some of this! <laughs> that is not dodge. Action ability! Guard. Yeah, yeah, you ain't ready for this great sword. Evade, evade. Wow, that, little, that little goblin just wrecked my face! Good combo, boy! Ugh. Is there a uh, stamina gauge in this? Let me just heal up a little bit because I, I guess we're living life in scrub mode. Uh, let's try it. Soul burst. Is this like my um, ninja guy in business? Break enemies by depleting the yellow gauge above their heads. Approach broken enemy and push circle to finish them with a soul burst. Well, <laughs> get soul burst, boy. Slaying enemies with soul burst will help. You recover your MP and raise your max MP. Effective use of soul bursts will ensure that your action abilities are ready when you need them. Okay. Press R2 to expand MP using an action ability to deal heavy HP. To deal heavy HP and break damage to your foe. There are two types of action abilities. R2 activates your job's unique action. And pressing R2 during a normal attack triggers a combo ability. Okay. Yeah, yeah, where you at? Oh, God! Yeah, you're like, yes! Get you some! You gonna get skill burst like no one business gets stomped on! Do a soul burst! Get out of my face, goblin! I guess three hits and you're dead. Probably shouldn't have chosen hard mode. Gonna have to do some more evades. Hold down circle to deplete your break gauge and adopt the soul shield stance. This stance can be extended by keeping circle held down, blocking attack in this stance will trigger your soul shield shattering surrounding enemies and wait staggering surrounding enemies and dealing break damage it will also in restore mp and increase your max mp so you're going to be wanting to do these all the friggin time press r1 after a successful block to take a big step forward and unleash normal attack mm -hmm. where you at midget where you at i see you i'm gonna wait for it there he is okay yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, get you some. Oh, yeah, get squished, boy. Is this my stamina? Huh? Is that my max MP? I guess down there at the bottom. Instant abilities. Okay, well we're gonna have to heal up here pretty soon. 
If Soul Shield is triggered by an enemy ability with a purple name, the ability will become usable as an instant ability. What? What'd you just say to me? If the Soul Shield is triggered by an enemy ability with a purple name, that ability would become usable as an instant ability. Activate instant abilities by pressing square. Instant abilities do not consume uh, MP, but their number of uses is limited. I guess uh, we're just gonna have to try it. First, let's block. What the fudge? Don't you throw that at me. Go ahead, do it again. Ha! -ha! Got it! Got it! Got it! No! Yeah! <laughs> oh, you get all covered in guts and viscera. When well, that's enemy light br the light bringer. When you have one or more full MP gauges, press L2 and circle to consume one MP gauge and activate Lightbringer. Okay. While Lightbringer is active, you deal increased break damage to enemies and their max break gauge is reduced when you hit them. When they're reduced to zero HP, you'll be granted effects equal to a soul burst. Oh, when you're just killing them in Lightbringer mode, you're just getting soul burst constantly. Activating Lightbringer changes the break gauge into a special gauge that depletes over time. Or when hit, Lightbringer ends when the gauge is fully depleted. Jack cannot be broken while Lightbringer is active, making it particularly effective when the break gauge is near empty. Oh, so I can clutch myself out is what you're saying. Ooh, you about to get light brung. Don't you do it. Heal, heal. Whoop. Estus flask. Squish. Hit, hit. Ah, yeah. Okay, now we just, <laughs> Okay, Estus Flask, boy! Now, uh, what does that do? Whoa! Lightbringer again! Womp, womp, womp! Yeah, 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 oh yeah! Okay, well, it doesn't make me invincible. What you got? Yeah, yeah, that's right, I got a big old block for you, boy! Yeah! Oh, you can cancel into Soul Burst! That's going to be a good one. That's what I'm talking about. All right. That's fair game. Open tutorial menu. How not to be trash. That's what I'm looking for. All right, leave the area. We might have to play on normal mode to get the armor to play on hard mode. I might be too much of a chump. Wall splat, great swords. Okay. Um, attacks can be charged while holding down R1 and pressing L1. While charging will perform an enhanced guard. Oh. Oh, whoa, 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 I wasn't done reading. I'm a slow reader. Stop it, game. Oh, here we go. All right, well, let's let's go ahead, play the game, see what it feels like. If I'm too much of a scrub to play on hard right now, we can play on normal. Uh, but I'm going to do my darndest to not be a chomp. I think that's the plan. Ooh. <gasps> it uses the controller rumble really nice. Ooh, yeah. Looks like chaos, chaos has, has been, been waiting, waiting for us. us. Ooh, chaos. Go in there and find you? Every yes, time. Every up. time they say chaos, I'm gonna say chaos. Chaos. As deep as I can. My, my Kratos impersonation? Boy. I'm gonna try my darndest to get that deep just constantly. Chaos. Boy. Atreus! <laughs> <laughs> These are the things I do with my off time. Is it worthwhile? Boy, I sure hope so. Um, touch cubes to restore your HP and MP and refill your potions. Yes, sir. This is definitely Final Fantasy Neo, you know what I'm saying? It'll be restored, uh, restored, restored to the initial value. Doing so will revive any slain enemies. This is Neo Final Fantasy version. This is what I want. This is what I want. Job trees? Get the fudge out of here. Oh, okay. I can only be a swordsman right now. <laughs> Look at these. I love... New job to warrior. Get out of my face. This is good. All right. Tips. How to not suck. Jobs. Okay, great swords and swordsmen. Wall splatters. Uh, well, let's not worry about it. Let's just play the game. Guys, if this is Final Fantasy meets Neo, I'm going to be hyped. Follow me. Huh. Oh, what about a charge attack? Enhance guard. Yes. Are my bros in my party? Punch him, dog! No one sends my guess it's me, I'm the main character.
Alright, alright. I guess suck it, rocks. That's nifty. What do we got here? Is it gear? Is it gear? No, it's a tutorial. Shields can't be equipped when using great swords. Um, attacks can be charged. Okay, here it was. Press R1 during an enhanced guard to perform follow-up attacks. During a combo with R1, push forward in R1 to release an upward forward slash. Or back in R1 triggers a spinning attack followed by a charge attack. Are you kidding me? Getting me with the things. Swordsmen can perform spinning slash by pushing R2, swinging their sword around, dealing damage to the enemies. Holding R2 will increase the ability's duration and increase rotation speed of the custom MP. The ability can be canceled with an attack by pressing R1. Because why wouldn't you do that? Okay, I can do this. And I can do this. And then I can do this. <laughs> so good. I can do, uh, I don't know. Let's go. Let's not go. Hooah! No, don't waste. Okay. Now can I upgrade my my bros? Cause that'd be sick. Where's my bros? Roll into it. Oh no way! It breaks some super fast. <laughs> Already? Can, oh, tell me I can do it without going to a thing. In the middle of the game. This is so nice, because in Neo you'd have to go back to a shrine every single time, but now I don't have to respawn to enemies. I can just go ahead and upgrade myself without respawning to enemies. It's so nice. Oh, that's what I'm talking I already like the idea. Combo. Powerful techniques that are triggered during a regular attack. Yes. Command. Versatile techniques. Yeah, like up left and all that business. Passive supplementary effects. Boys, stack me with them. Pass. Or, oh, okay, I guess we'll just go like this, because it was a link ability. It's the only one I can get, also. Ability type combo. I want that passive. I also want that passive. Oh, I also want that combo. Let's see what these passives are. Stamina. Break damage taken. Oh, that's pretty good. I'm a, pa I'm a man full of passives. I don't. I almost said I'm a passive man, but I don't know if that's true or not. I guess if you know me in, in real life, I suppose you might be able to say something about it. People have said I'm a little bit too aggressive sometimes. Uh, you can reach the menu by pushing X when selecting the acquired ability. Oh, okay. Equip acquired abilities. Oh, that's how they're going to keep me under control. So we'll go battle settings. And then we're going to go combo abilities. Wait. Oh, nice. Equip combo abilities from the combo ability screen. Combo abilities can be used by pressing R2 during a normal attack. No doubt. Most of these abilities can only be equipped within certain slots. Though there are some like Raging Slash that can be set in any slot. Job specific actions. Wait a second, what? Wait a second. No effect available. Spinning slash. Onslaught. Raging slash. Raging slash. <gasps> oh, I like this. I like this a lot. Okay. Onslaught can only be slotted in the first one, right? Ability to details. It's a link ability. <laughs> Dynasty Warriors me right now. Spinning Slash can be thrown on this one. And then Raging Slash, Raging Slash. Spinning Slash. Okay, but if I do R1, R1, R2, hit me with a Spinning Slash, now we're getting things done right. So now I can go, Womp. Oh, I don't have enough. Okay, <laughs> okay. Let me just pump my brakes for a second. Suck it, Pots. Hold on, it's a little bit dark. Sorry, guys. Sorry. I didn't realize, um, brightness settings. 9, 10. Let's try that. It's just a little bit dark on my screen. Oh, that looks a little bit washed out. No, that don't, that don't look bad. That don't look bad. The corners were just a little bit dark for me. I don't I think it's, well, it's not my TV. They just seemed a little bit dark. I don't know. All right, all right. Where are we going? Who wants a taste? I'm going to block. And you're gonna feel a goblin. Oh, what you missed? I'm mad at that. Woohoo! It's just a stone's throw. One, two, the squish. One, two, oh, uh, nope. Three. Spinning slash in the squish. Mm. Okay. I like that. I like that a lot. Now we just got to onslaught. Now I have to do it right. Oh, treasure. My favorite thing in video games. Right next to safe point. Twilight tunic. Yes. That's the most manly sounding tunic I think I've run into in a long time. Battle settings. Tell me it makes me look different. That's all I want. 
Equip weapons and armor from the battle settings. Changing equipment affects various stats. Pressing L3 will automatically equip most power. <laughs> okay, we're not doing optimal builds. We're doing my builds, which are stupid and dumb and are very specific. Um, deck yourself out in high level equipment to gain an advantage in battle. That's the only way I'm doing it. Tell me I look different. <laughs> yes. Yes, you look different. Even in the demo. Because if they released a demo where you didn't, there's one down there. Where you didn't look different. Let's take it down. Let's take it down, Goblarino. You're done. Blocked. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you think you bad? You think you bad? Fudge! I'm bad. Don't worry. We don't need to heal. I got my spinning slash. Over done. Give him the swing! Oh god! Give him the crush! Okay, let's actually go ahead, heal me up a little bit. Um, oh fudge, I cut myself off from a thing maybe? No, I think we're fine. I should have done hard mode first, boys. I should have, I should have waited. I should have waited. This was a mistake. Um, hmm. Pump and iron? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, I need two points for that. Oh, okay. Well, let's temporarily increase his defense, likelihood of being staggered. I want that stamina, but I want this buff stuff. The faster I do damage, the easier it'll be to not get murdered, is my idea. I don't know if it's true, but that's how I feel about it. Damn. Where does all that darkness come from? Where's all that darkness come from? Oh no, Jesus, that's a big goblin! Wasn't bad now we got chaos. Come on. Yeah. No. <laughs> My body. Okay. Okay. Soul shield. Let's try to get in here. Try this again. Yeah. Enhance guard! Okay, here we go. Let's try this again. Fudge, too late. No, 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 no. Too early. We're gonna get it. Wrong way. Dang it. One more potion. Yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Now I feel it. Now we got it. Oh, well, it's too far. Dodge. No. My maximum MP. Oh, God, my body. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Onslaught. Yeah. Yeah. What you know about it? I work best in... Oh, no. Okay, they do a lot of damage in hard mode. Hmm. Uh... Yeah, let's try it in normal. I'm too much of a scrub, I think. Right, Final Chaos Origins. Yeah, it looks kind of Final Fantasy 15-ish, but it feels kind of like, um, Neo-y, I want to say. Um, we're going to put it to easy, or not to easy, but just to, uh, just to normal. Because hard mode definitely does more damage. Basic settings, um, what's that say? Blood splatter? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, when I looked at the demo for it, uh, Claybird, I thought Final Fantasy XV just because of the way it looked, but, um, hmm, we gotta, we gotta, there we go. But it definitely has the Neo feel to it, but the controls are very Dark Souls controls, if you know what I'm saying, with the R1 and R2 business, um, but it does also have the job system, so we'll see how it plays out. I couldn't even get into Final Fantasy XV, it was a problem. I've, I've given that game the good old college try too many times and have been just pure, I don't know, uninterested in the whole thing, I suppose. So, that's, that's my bad, I guess. And you know what's nice is it doesn't have the, uh, the Final Fantasy XV, like, hold a button, do a thing constantly. Which I'm really glad about. Huh. 
Oh, yeah, they do definitely, like, double damage in hard mode. There we go. Yeah, I like the instant kill business. It feels pretty good. Um, I think I just got to get better at just this game overall before I jump into hard mode. I think that's kind of going to be the best idea. Getting a hold of all, of all that stuff. Um, yeah, he's got an iconic black t-shirt. Just you wait. This is again like the Nomura design of, you know, you want to check some characters with belts and buckles and iconic character costumes? Black t-shirt. But you know what's cool right here? I'm instantly going to change my clothes. Which is nice that it shows up like that. So I guess maybe the thing of the demo was the iconic black t-shirt. And then you can just go ahead and switch it up. To a different black shirt. You know, I ain't mad about it. Nomura's just trying to sell more clothing. He goes, you know what's even cooler? Than buckles, nothing. Straight up minimalistic there. designs. Black T-shirt. <laughs> okay, it also looks like you level up at the same rate, even if you uh, pick an easier difficulty, which is kind of cool. Uh, let's get onslaught because that seemed to do some pretty good actual stagger damage. Let's do it on, uh, hmm. Yeah, we'll do it this one. No problem. And then, wait a second, wait a second. Last time I did it like this. Yeah, 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 that'll work. Hmm, I think I gotta be locked on. Oh, yeah. Okay, so the combos work directionally, kind of like Devil May Cry business. I'm never going to be able to block that properly. Get me in! You know, oddly enough, there's only been one phrase of the word chaos, and that's it. I'm looking for a lot more of that feeling, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, yeah. I think I just have dodge more also. I think that'd be a good idea. Oh, it stomped. Oh, and a new weapon. What now? Ew, some weird opening. All right, that's kind of nifty. That kind of Onimusha feeling. Nice one, Jack. Now let's see what secrets this place is hiding. All right. Fiends emerge from dark vents scattered about the shrine. Slaying enemies that have emerged from these walls will lower their breakage, and destroying the vents will stop the flood of enemies. That's kind of cool. Easy stuff that feels kind of like old school gauntlet. Um, let's get not combo abilities, but my new sword. Job affinity zero percent. All right, all right. What do we got here? Hold square to dash. Is that square? That triangle? I'm just gonna click L3. Yeah, we're not gonna do that. All right, so here's the kneel business where you get your checkpoint, which is nice. Um, and we'll come up. Shadow guards, okay. Battle settings, stranger's gloves, shadow guards. All right. Yeah, so I think the idea was generic looking man McManerson, and then we uh, we get to customize our guy. And I th I'm I don't know if there's gonna be a cool like um if you're gonna be able to switch jobs in the demo. Magic tags like fire deal, deal damage even if you if you guard try sidestepping or rolling out of the way or using soul shield. Yeah, I gotta be better at that parry. So since I'm terrible at parrying, what we're gonna do is we're gonna try just to dodge. Yeah. What you know about it? Oh, it does the grow. Rose, help me. Don't make me fight it by myself. Yeah, you definitely level up really fast. Twilight trousers 
Ain't nothing I like more than a nice pair of slacks. Hugging my cheeks. Um... Ooh! Oh, you know what? Alright. You get points really fast. And by really fast, I mean occasionally. Alright, so I don't have enough points. <laughs> I definitely thought I was onto something. I was like, man, I'm really playing this game pretty darn good. I'm getting points like no one business. Oh, God! Move, goblin! Get interrupted with the crush. Let's brace ourselves for there we go. Ahead. Let's do it. I don't know what that accent that guy has is. I haven't. I've never heard it out in the wild. Stay out of the flames. That's kind of cool that they do that, where the environment catches fire based on. Oh God! I hate it. I hate it. It's kind of cool, but I don't like it. I'm sure I'd like it if I was the one doing it. I'm sure that's exact. Oh jeez. Take it. Again. Ooh, ooh, pale gloves. Oh, wait, that's right. Now I shoot fire. There you go. Oh, if you shoot them, of course, if you shoot them with fire, they self-destruct. Oh, no. When you're broken, though, you're definitely in, like, the Neo business where you're not doing anything. Come on. I need a longer parry window. I'm too much of a scrub. Me and Royal Guard never got along. There we go. There it is. Sweet. I think the MP thing is kind of cool. How it works almost as, um, well, kind of like a stamina business on your special moves, though. <gasps> Ooh, Caster's Mask. Although, I don't know what the, uh... Is there a button for map? Oh no. Okay. Now the tricky part here is do we go left or do we go right? I don't want to go towards progress. So, you know what I'm saying? Lightning damage dealt or fire damage dealt? Well, which one looks cooler? I guess we'll go ninja mode because it's team ninja. Um, pale gloves. Lowers my defense. Drop rate up. Um, those are level 6, but they don't seem to do anything. And I lower my physical defense by 2, but they raise my physical attack. Oh, they raise my physical attack. Worth it. And it looks like your MP constantly moves. Which, I guess I gotta be a little bit more careful on how I'm gonna do my, uh, my specials. We're gonna get... Ah, I really want that passive ability. Break damage taken, minus 15. The Harb... The Highbringer? Oh, okay. I also kind of want that. Yeah, I, I do want the advanced job, because it's Final Fantasy, so... Why wouldn't you want the good job? Alright, we're, we're going straight for it. A command. So, we have to do here... Yeah. Yeah, that's what we want. Yeah. Alright. Not even a problem. Let's see if we can get through this door. Don't close behind me, door. Do not. <gasps> okay, leads to the, th leads to a checkpoint. What's this direction? Is it treasure? It's goblins. Yes! I need to do that more. Without a doubt, I gotta do my circle a lot more. Pale Greaves, there's so many things to pick up. Oh, God! Thank you. 
There it is. Give me you. Oh, what the fudge from downtown? Oh, they do. Your bros do set him up for the crush. Sweet. Super good. Does that create a shortcut? Oh, that's what I'm talking about. All right. I like that idea. And then it brings you around anyway. Okay. And then pots right now seem to just break into it. Now, uh, oh, sorry, they give you uh, MP, which is nice. Those little red orbs. Yeah, from the trailer, I didn't know how I was going to feel about this game, but now just getting my hands on it, I like the ideas so far. Really well, actually. Four points, okay. Uh, yeah, definitely strength. Effective in both battle sets. Effective in both battle sets. Okay, effective in both sets. That's only effective in this set. Strength, and then, oh, yes. Oh, the temptation. Um, okay, you know what? I wanted the stamina, but I'm getting the strength. <laughs> we can get strength. We can get the stamina here in a second, no problem. Uh, what do we got here? I know we got new... You get armor and stuff really fast, unfortunately. I mean, I guess not unfortunately, but you do get it pretty quickly. What's that? Lightning damage dealt? No, we want the fire resistance for the bombs. Twilight tunic, twilight tunic, exactly. Ice resistance, don't need that. Stranger's boots. Pale greaves. Or twilight booties. Hmm. MP recovery with normal attacks. Yeah, that's what we want. Alright. Easy stuff. Treasure, huh? So much treasure so far. Ooh, a club! You have a second battle set. Huh, you can instantly change from one to the other with triangle. Each set has its own break gauge. Switch carefully. No way. You can just... You can be like, oh my god, I'm getting crushed. And then all of a sudden, you can just come back and have a big old comeback? No, that's not how it works in video games. That's too friendly. Wait, 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 wait. Do they have multiple job trees now? I just got the mage job tree. Well, that's legit. So they did give me two. They did give me both of them. Mages can cast black magic by holding R2. Release the button while casting or press R1 to unleash your spell. Your MP will gradually recover while casting. Fiery impact. Ruin. Intellect. Oh, man. Well, now we're going to have to play... New job, Black Mage. Well, now we're going to play this game a lot on the demo to see all of it. Okay. That's fine. Battle settings. Triangle. To be a mage. Do you get different... Mm, no, I guess that's the same between both. Hermit Club. But mages can use a shield. Hermit Club gives me that. That ain't bad at all. Oh, you can use them across both classes. Well, that's nifty. Okay. So... All right. Can you change mid-combo? You can't... Yeah, you can't really mid-combo it. Now, what are my moves? Oh, it's gonna tell me right now. It's gonna tell me right now. Maces are strike weapons that specialize in dealing break damage. Attacks with maces are quicker than attacks with greatswords, and shields can be equipped by using them. Making the, making maces versatile weapons for both attack and defense. Attacks can be charged by holding R1 during your combo. R1 press forward and just upper attack to perform a counterattack. <laughs> Never gonna use that one because I'm bad at it. Mages can cast black magic one by holding down R2. Up to two MP gauges gradually cover while casting spells. Switch spells with L. Selected spells can be cast by releasing R2 or holding R2 pressing and pressing R1. Holding R2 while casting will increase the tier of a spell. Oh, without expending any extra MP. Oh, we're in MP sentence and fools on fire. Each attack's individual attributes, physical attacks have a, have a slash, pierce, or strike attributes, while magics have fire, ice, lightning, earth, water, or wind attributes. Some enemies are weak to certain attributes, they greatly increase. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna learn some magic. Water? Okay. Meow. Oh, no way! You get all these right now? 
That is dumb. That is too good. Your bomb bombs are about to go. Cactua? Oh, Jesus Christ. Not a cactua. Chain cancel. <gasps> it's after abilities. Okay. That's nifty. You can start in Greatsword, use an ability, change to triangle, and change it up. All right, I'm gonna set this little cacti on fire. Did it win? Well, it definitely ruined that. That was pretty good, actually, but we're gonna wanna set that on uh, ice. Okay. Juke. Oh, God. Wait a second. Is my wand all icy? No way! No way! That's too good of an idea. That your wand would take the effect... That your wand would take the effect of the skill you're casting to affect what's going on? Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. How do I change? Oh, right. I don't understand. I don't understand that. I'll have to I'll have to look at it again. Tips. Battle. Changing battle sets. No. Exploration. Dark fence, customization, combat abilities, attacks, mazes, and mages. Well, fudge, I missed it. Breakfall. Probably time. Oh yeah, that's when you're falling. Okay, we'll figure it out here later. It's fine. No problem. Job trees. One job point. Fiery impact. Oh, that's what I need. Okay, maybe this. Damage enemies and the fire. Yeah, we gotta learn that anyway. And then I got one job point here. Okay, sweet. Oh, oh, that's what it means by both sets. It doesn't mean... I thought it meant... Um... Like, you could use it even if you were doing the warrior job. We're like... Of course it would work in the warrior job, why wouldn't it? It means it's going to be effective in any class you use, which is really clever. Because if you wanted really high spirit, you could then just go through your mage class, get higher spirit, and then switch to a warrior class and you'd almost be like a little paladin man. Okay. Equipping weapons and armor with job affinity with a grand bonus experience when using it to the relevant job. You can also get stat... You can also get stat boost depending on affinity type and value. High lo higher level equipment has greater chance to have higher affinity value, so pay to special attention to loot drop by powerful foes. Always. A battle set job grants job affinity bonuses to your second battle set. What did you just say to me? A battle set's job grants job affinity bonuses to your second battle set. The effects of status type passive skills such as strength plus will be carried over to the other set. Add a job you want to strengthen to a battle set or include a powerful job to boost your stats and give yourself an... Why do I feel so confused at the wording of that? Oh, it's fine. Some single pieces of equipment take up multiple slots. For example, a pale protector occupies both torso and waist slots. Although you sacrifice the equipment slot, items of this type make up for it by offering higher stats. Okay. Pale bandana. Caster's mask. It's worse than this one. That's fine. Twilight tunic. Pale protector. Oh, okay. I see. I was like, what? What's happening with my brain? Why do I feel so dumb? This is what we're looking for. Oh, you know what? Now it looks like I'm from uh, Code Vein. Uh, Shadow Gauntlets. Which that new one's coming out. Code, ah, uh, not Code Vein. Uh, Scarlet Nexus. That's the one. That's what it is. And then what's funny is Scarlet Nexus reminds me of Crimson Skies and Crimson, no, Crimson Seas and Crimson Tears. Oddly enough, all based around the color red. <gasps> it's true. You can have different sets for you. That's so smart. I didn't think it was going to happen, but it did. Okay. Well, this just rocks my socks every time I see something new about it. Magic damage dealt. MP recovery with normal attacks. Yeah, that's pretty good. Pale gloves. Drop right up. All right. Now, what did he say about... This thing, no combo effects available. Okay, black magic one, or fiery impact. You can combo into black magic? <sighs> okay. It's like they're trying to make me have a good time. Do I like it? Yeah, yeah I do. 
Give me special effects. Oh, it's got the Neo list of effects. This game is going to be so ridiculous when it comes to just the amount of things. If it follows the way Neo 2 went, it's going to be dumb. Actually, I kind of want the passives to be like Neo 1, but I want the equipment to be like Neo 2. That's how I want it to be. The best of both Neos. That's what I'm feeling. Yeah. Yeah. The passives in Neo 1 were way better because they carried across your entire character. Shine of the bygone light. Nice room. Smells like trouble. Smells Stay like alert. chaos. Stay alert. Well. Yeah. We're probably never going to start casting magic for a while. We'll see. I'm just not a magic man. Well, this is going to get beat right now. Yeah. If you ain't gonna spawn some bros to help you out, I'm just gonna punch you to death. Boy! Alright. I like that idea, because it makes shortcuts super obvious. And that brings me to treasure. And who doesn't like treasure? Oh god, I fell! Oh, dang it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's knock him down. Oh god. Wait, did I properly do it? No way. Oh man, they die super fast. Wait a second. How'd my mage level go up? Oh, crap. Yeah, it is time for a change. I got a whole new gauge now, mother truckers. There it is. There it is. Wait a second. Oh, I don't have any MP. My bad. Alpha Wolf. Well, that's not good. Okay, let's see if we can go... One, two... Black Magic! Ooh! Spin. Spin to win! Yeah, I don't play Garen top lane often, but when I do, I feel like a scrub. All right, here we go, Kite Shield. All right, um, let's go back this direction. Job trees. Gained a lot of points. I'm so close to being a warrior, I should have gone... I should have gone Staminans, but I chose not to. I chose to be a moron. I wasn't looking at the big picture. That's fine. That's fine. Frost Swing? Oh, that just sounds too cool. That's a command. Oh, I can be a Jedi with that one. MP recover on normal attacks. That'd be pretty good. Um, I'm, I'm, I kind of want to be a Jedi, but I don't use that ability as much. Let's do this. Link ability two. All right, we got two points left. Let's save it for the new warrior job. Let's go ahead. Ah, uh, so many things. That's definitely not for this. Uh, this, that's for, um, what's it even do for my casting? Oh, it's the mage affinity. Okay, this is what they were talking about for affinity. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Now I'm understanding what they're saying. Okay, okay, now it's all, look at, the pieces are just falling into place. I don't feel like an idiot anymore nearly as much. I feel like... The gates of knowledge are opening up unto me, and I'm getting it under my belt. Twilight booties. Caster boots. Nah. Nope, we're good. Okay, and then we want combo abilities to be... No, no, commands. Um, here? Wait a second. I didn't unlock the command. My bad, my bad. Battle settings, change this. Pale bandana. Oh, okay. So that'll do... That's a better affinity. So it'll raise my stats. Yeah. Okay. Okay, game. So you're going to start synergizing with a bunch of different jobs that make this make sense in a whole different... So you're going to have... Job affinities... Right. 
which bounce back and forth, which raise XP, which also give better stats, because the job they're based on give you good stats. And then you can carry those over into other jobs that you're currently playing. I don't know how many times I said the word job there, but I feel like I have a brand new one after that. Time for a change. Time for a change. Um, yes! Again! Hit him with water! Come on, charge up! Yeah, how you enjoyed that? Okay, yeah. I like that a lot. This is the one. Plus that... You know what, I'm gonna try to get my voice that deep all the time. This is the one. I don't know where they get these voice actors from. Velvety baritones all the time. Then we got this Dark Souls fall over here. Um... Okay. 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 Slow and steady. Give me this treasure. Give me it. Shadow boots. Oh, look at that. You can pause. Oh, wait. Ah, fudge. Okay. Swordsman things. Okay. Lightbringer duration. Took away my one damage. That's fine. Now, the tricky part here is, if I switch sets, I go Twilight Boots. There we go. Now it brings those effects from my Swordsman business into my Mage. Okay. I like that a lot. Now, I know for a fact... They got Dragon Ball Z actor Chris Sabat to be in this. Why is there smoke right there? Can I break it? Because I heard him. He's he's the voice in the trailer of a uh, chaos. Um, I'm pretty sure that's I'm pretty sure that's Vegeta, or Piccolo, or whoever it is. It's it's the same man who plays them both. So, you know how it goes. There's only a handful of voice actors at the end of the day, I guess. Caster pants. I think this is the only thing that's going to get a little bit old. Is because... I, well, I guess in the demo. Just because of how quickly you get stuff, I think that's going to be maybe a little bit trickier. Boom. Caster pants. Goes with the caster coat? I thought that took up two slots, but I guess it doesn't. Alright, sweet. What about these pants? I can't wear these pants. Okay, we're fine. I guess this separates the mages from the warriors. Time My pants. All right. So it's like you get to play two separate characters because your character build is completely different on each one. A halberd? What are you doing to me? I love spears. You unlocked a new job. Why? Ah oh, man. Okay. Well, what is my job? What's my new job? Lances. I got a weakness for sword for for freaking spears. I think they're too cool. Triggers area of effect slashing, making lances a versatile weapon for exploiting immune weaknesses. Four nar one forces uh slap piercing back. And R1 releases a striking attack. Left and R1 and right and R1 change things. You can throw them? <laughs> okay, well I'm replacing the mage. Uh the attack can be charged by holding down R2, increasing the power the longer it's charged. Well, what are you doing to me, game? Job trees. Swords, Lancer. <sighs> okay, well, let's get a mage point if we can. Yeah! Ooh. Okay. Now, uh, is this battle settings? And this goes here, and then you can change to a Lancer. This is the one. Ah, oh, so good. So good. I could play with these systems all day and be completely entertained. <laughs> Which is weird to say. Oh, I'm gonna look like Sid Highwind right now. I'm gonna start looking like Sid Highwind. Okay. Yeah, Shadow Boots. Okay. That's... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Because I know for a fact... Man. No combos of effects available. We got Lance Hurl, so we could just throw it at the end of a combo. 
Weapon skill, wild thrust, wild thrust. What is that? Lancer. Oh, I see. Okay, so you unlocked that. Yes. This is getting a lot of fantastic ideas. Ladders. My favorite effect in games. Ladders. I hate ladders. You know when you when you when you do something? What game was I playing? Where my friend kicked a ladder down in front of me? And you know, you know when you just feel offended? I think it was okay, I think it was actually Resident Evil 5. They went up the ladder, kicked it down as I'm trying to come up the ladder, causing an entire other problem. And I'm just getting murdered by get pushed through that column, boy! Get somebody to stab! Oh, that's good. That's good. Get it thrown at you! Don't play with me! Okay, it's a little slower than the greatsword, but the thrust is super nice. Okay, well, what's down here? Let me, before I go on the path of rebellion, let's, um, let's see what's down here first. Yeah, get kicked, boy. And then we'll take it down. Okay, well, there's a, uh, let's see. Huh. I wish I had a map. I wish I had a map so bad. Because I don't want to end up going to the boss fight and then getting stuck and then missing part of the demo, you know what I'm saying? That'd be a travesty. Wait a second! I'm back at the beginning of the game! Never mind. Yeah, boy! Lancer. Um, Cyclone. Can be set to R1, R2. Slash out at surrounding foes. Hold the ability button for successive attack. <gasps> Yes. And then I think, oh, we're in it. We're in it to win it. What happens now? You can select it from the battle menu. Setting advanced jobs can be can use more specialized job abilities and a wider range of we array of weaponry. Find a job and equipment combination suit your playstyle. Okay. Change the job. Change the job. Swordsman. Warrior. Oh, you do get an overall bonus. That's what I'm talking about. Boom. Okay. Well, now what happens? Um, let's see. Warriors can use Battle Cry. Let out a fuse. A, a fuse. A fierce roar that staggers nearby enemies. You also gradually recover HP over a certain amount of time. Okay. Oh, there it is. There it is, boys. Bold offense increases damage dealt when HP is at maximum. That is what I'm talking about. So you can still get these ones. How much is... Oh, but you know what? Okay. Alright. Oh, the system's in this game, guys. I'm gonna... I'm gonna buy... I'm gonna pre-order this game right now. Just because of the mechanics in the background, I'm already sold. Like, this game could turn out and people go, This is one of the worst games ever. I'm gonna play it for like... Hundreds of hours. Oh man, this game sold me. The mechanics are just too cool. All right. Plus, did you see when I pushed that little punk through that column? Like, suck it, goblin! You ain't bad! You ain't not Get crushed! Boy! Now look at this throw! Look at this throw! Get you some of this! Get broken! Oh, yeah! Give me this mace that I'm never gonna use. Who I'll pick up them pants. What do we got? Bats? Bats? I hate bats. Yeah, Jed knows. Squish! Now, you gotta give me the fact that Dragoon has to be at the end of Lancer. And let me tell you something, the only reason I played Final Fantasy XIV was so I could pay for an MMO to become a Dragoon as a job class. I don't know why... <clears throat> At the end of the day, the thought is frustrating. However, it was a good time. Plus, the armor was sick. So, you know, tell me it's Dragoon at the bottom. It's, it's Dragoon. Alright. Um, Lance Hurl Master or Strength? <laughs> I'm gonna go for Strength. What is this? Better dodge? Sway back. 
agility. Uh, this, this game is just screaming to me. Was that two? Was that one? Two. Critical damage up. Effective in both sets? No. Okay. Was that one? Poof. Mighty strikes? And hinders enemies' resistance. You can be buffing yourself like crazy. Oh my god, and then when you get agility on both the Lancer and the War... You're gonna be so fast. Or you're gonna be so... Whatever agility does in this game. Agile, I suppose? Oh, we're gonna take the round of boot right here. There's the treasure I was smelling. Another job class unlocked. I don't freaking know. Pale Protector. Shadow Cloak for the Swordsman. Oh, uh, well, it's way better all the way around. Give me plus one constantly. Magic damage dealt? Yeah, we ain't playing that. Boom. Aha! Pants! I don't need them. Oh, you can't wear a hat. Okay. I guess we'll do, um... Hmm. Twilight Trousers. Same thing here, because we're definitely going to get that. Because it's Warrior Affinity is really good. And then, um... We're going to put on some pants, because we don't want to be arrested for disturbing the public with our greatsword, if you know what I'm talking about. Um, just a better greatsword. There we go. And then we're good. We're golden. Your, how, your weapons can have an affinity with your own... <sighs> Such a smart idea. I would have thought. Cyclone. I'm never getting rid of Wild Thrust. It's too cool. Uh, if the main ah oh man, when the when the when the real game comes out, ah oh boy, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna take time off of work and just smash through this one. Like I'm still playing Final Fantasy Intergrade Hard Mode to beat the uh, the new stuff that gets unlocked during Hard, and I saw this immediately put it down and said I'm doing this. Certain pieces of equipment have favors specific. Will favor specific stats and job affinities. For example, the shadow set favors physical defense and the swordman affinity. The twilight set favors physical. The twilight set favors physical attacks with and the lancer affinity. The caster set favors magic attack and defense, and the mage affinity. And the pale set offers a balanced stats. Okay. About chance may sometimes reward you with. A piece of equipment with an additional effect like ability damage plus higher level equipment has more potent effects yeah that's what i'm talking about we talking about a we're talking about gear rarity boys we're talking about what the fudge bats coming out of holes don't step to me bat get you some of this oh god yeah. You know what? The fact that your boy set you up for success, real bros will always set up a bro for success. That's a fact. No. No. Let me lock on. Oh, crap. Come on, heal up. Oh, the heal does not work well if you're rolling. Eat this wild thrust like you've never been thrust before. I'm gonna need me a sword. Just get him with it. Come on, come on. No, no, no. Mm -mm. Yeah, you're done. Okay. Okay, heal. There he goes. Swing it! <gasps> That's right, my war cry. Feel it, boy. And that's why you would want to put warrior things or swordsman stuff on that action. Now I see. Now it's starting to make sense. So I have to redo my battle settings for my sword or for my warrior. From Swordsman. Okay. Thrust! Move it. 
Yeah. No, I'm punching it. Don't you try to stop me, wolf. Get you somebody's punch. It's spiked. And then they poof at the very end. Yeah, straight to the boss. No questions about it. All right. Whoops, my bad. So, we learned some things. I have to redo my battle settings. Also, I don't know... Oh, that's a live controller, my bad. Huh. I also don't know if anything you do in your in your swordsman thing affects your warrior thing, you know what I'm saying? That's the question. Well, we're gonna do that because that makes you a warcry master, and who doesn't want to be a master of war cries? Um I do need the Lancer one. Lance Hurl Master, I don't want to be able to hurl on that. I want that, but I'm probably never gonna use it, because I actually want this. And then some of this. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I want. Alright, so... We need to go... Yep. No, I do have Onslaught. Okay. Raging Slash. Oh, I see. You lose Spinning Slash when you change into it. That's what I was looking for. Okay. Now I understand. Now, what happens if I change that it drops a bunch through my physical defense okay this makes sense now you know i don't know i don't know what this music is i don't know if i like it or if i don't like it it seems like sometimes it really hits like an upbeat part and you go oh I can see where the music is going, and sometimes I look at it and go, I don't know what I don't know what it's trying to do to me. I don't know what what it's trying to make me feel. Let's uh, let's see what I'm probably gonna get feeling like I'm being wrecked. Skeletons? I don't think so. Blockable versus unblockable attacks. Well, I'm terrible at every kind of block thing. That sinister auras. Yeah, that's fine. You'll be able to block these attacks in casual mode. That's a straight up, that's the straight up Ninja Gaiden, uh, crawl from back in the day. And that's from Neo 2 act, no, that's from Neo, that's, that's the guys that grab you. Oh god, I'm reliving Neo right now. Jesus Christ. Yeah, so it's the, they did bring some of their Neo stuff in here. These are actually... What is it? Um, the little undead dudes. Same animations. You know what? I think the, I think the music might be based off of... Orig Final Fantasy Origin. Because when I was looking it up, I was trying to figure out what it is. Now this... I don't know where that's from. And I don't know if that's a remake of something, or what. But in headphones, it feels real good. I don't know what it sounds like outside of headphones, though. It's a little modulation, it's kind of interesting. Alright, um... Hmm. Okay, that door, covered in chaos. Nothing's gonna... Well... Key to fate's doors, there it is! Bats, my arch nemesis! Bloody claws. Yeah, now you're in trouble! Yeah, it is, it is kind of interesting 
with Tecmo Ninja Gaiden-esque Neo business in a Final Fantasy game. But I'm definitely digging it more than I thought I was, because I didn't really know what to expect, because the tricky part is, it's also Koei Tecmo, which of course we know makes all the, um, all the Dynasty Warrior games. And unfortunately for me, I haven't really been enjoying those over the last while, so I was kind of nervous about this one. But it turns out there was really no reason to be nervous, because it definitely feels way less clunky than I was ever expecting. It actually doesn't feel clunky at all, it feels really tight. Which is good. The only thing I don't like is the, um, essentially your heal, which is down. It's not very quick, it's pretty slow, you have to be doing nothing to heal, but everything else, if you liked Neo, it's, it's right there, you know? Um, what the fudge, a griffin? Well, let me spend some job points and then we'll come back to it. Um, so I am looking forward to it. If you can't tell by how much I freaking have been like, this game is rocking my socks. Bold defense. Luck. Yeah, I need a lot, I need a lot of that in these kinds of games. I swear to Christ, if I'm being attacked right now and I don't even know I'm gonna have some problems. Alright, let me in on it, Griffin. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, God. My body. Oh, you know what? I wonder if he's weak to pokes or not. Oh, God. Oh, God. He's weak to strikes. But I don't have a weapon that strikes him like that. Got that enhanced guard. I gotta start using circle, I guess. Yeah. Oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah, you know, that's that's true. Um, when it comes to new games getting hyped for them, it is best, I always find, to wait for it. Um, there are certain games that I tend not to wait for. Team Ninja games I tend to get because I've been following them for basically forever um but like in the last year recently or actually for the long while um i haven't been getting new games quite as quickly because they do they it's it's like you get burned a couple times and you're just like well what's even the point so i'm glad they released a demo because without the demo after watching the e3 trailer i wouldn't have gotten i wouldn't even been looking at this game to purchase or anything like that so, that's, uh, that was probably a good, that was probably a really good choice for them, was to do that. Um, but yeah, I get, I get the feeling is, when these new games have been coming out, like, I think I've been buying a lot of more, a lot more like indie games or a lot more games on sale, just because it's true, like, it's better to, to just wait it out sometimes and not get totally wrecked. Like, I still haven't played Cyberpunk. I want to, I've been wanting to play Cyberpunk since I saw it. Remember that trailer a super long time ago? But it's like, I'm glad I waited on that one because I don't know, it just it just wasn't really um, I saw it and I said that could be pretty cool and then as it showed more, I said, I don't know I still want it and then I just didn't get it and it's I kind of dodged a bullet with that one. I was surprised. But I'd been wanting to play that since that original trailer. But, yeah, it was just real unfortunate. Okay. Now, here's going to be the test. My spirit is plus four. So, we're going to go back really fast. Battle settings within our spirit. It's 19. Yeah, I feel the same way. If you've got a lot of games in your backlog... Like, it's just, it's just way better to just play through those. It, because there, there have been some games I've missed, and I go, oh wow, I downloaded this and I never played it? How, how could I be so foolish? It's so nice. Okay, so it looks like the, um, 
Sorry to sidetrack, I was thinking of math. It looks like the spirit didn't carry over from the uh, swordsman thing. But, like, I'm playing... What is it? There's a demo that I got on Epic for a while that I went back to and was just... They've been updating it so long that it's freaking amazing. You can spend hours in this single demo for this robot game. Like, it's great. Um, yeah, it's super... And so that's that's how I've been feeling, is I've just gone back and playing some of my older stuff, and waiting for some of these games to get cheaper, especially on PlayStation 5. They're really kind of grabbing you with that $70 thing, and I'm... I, I did it for Demon Souls, and I felt like I'd made a mistake. I felt like I was just giving in to the man. Just ruining what games stood for. So... I said, I'm never buying a $70 game ever again, especially when I own it on PS3. Is it a pretty game, Demon Souls? Yeah. Is seventy dollars worth of pretty? No. If you played Demon Souls before, you don't need to play it again on pretty mode. That's just how it feels. <laughs> yeah, I was like Ratchet and Clank, seventy bucks. I'm not gonna do it. They just gave it to us to you for free on PS5, the other version, and then Returnal. I said, nah, man. Like Hades is uh, is coming out from, and you can find that basically uh, on the cheap, pretty much everywhere. Like, if I want a bullet hell game, I'm just going to play through Nier Automata again. Or I'm going to play, like, Ikaruga, or something that's a dedicated bullet hell game. I'm not going to play something where i got to spend 70 bucks, and maybe the full game is 5 hours, and that's going to be it. So, a lot of these new games that have this insanely high price of 70 bones, I'm going to... I'm more than patient enough for that. Because I read sometimes about the people in Australia that are spending like a hundred bucks on a game. And I said, oh my god, that's really expensive. And the minute I spent 70, I went, wow. That hurts my wallet. Never again. No matter how many polygons they squeeze in there or particle effects, it's just not worth it. So. Even in Canada, it's around, yeah. See, it's getting so, it's getting so nuts is the problem with it where like if you get a new console you go oh wow that's great what what's what am i getting with it and they go brand new prices and it's just like my god no thank you All right. yeah you can I, I feel you man it can be tough once it hits that price point it's just it's too much All right, here's the boss, and here apparently is where they drop 19 chaoses. I don't know if it's true. Yeah, on PC, 60 bucks for it to retail. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. It's crazy. Chaos. There it is, chaos. No. I am to become him. I know you. Are you? I'm chaos We're also. Here to kill chaos. There's two. Prophecy's very own warriors of light. I don't trust Jed's untextured pink hair. He always wore such splendid armor with a helmet that was terrifying to the whole. It's Garland. It is Garland from Dissidia. Well, pick a name, Piccolo. Jesus Christ. Um, but yeah, on PC, there's. It's, it's just like, just wait a year and everything's basically free. What the fudge? Chaos question? Whoop! He plays just like Dissidia. Get out of my face. I've fought you years ago. I'm gonna charge him and then I'll block you. There we go. There we go. Oh god, it does hurt. He's right. Oh, I caught it, mother trucker! Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Okay, we can heal that up. Oh, that's the magic. Yeah, I wish, um... I don't know, I just think on... For me, I built a PC this last year, when of course we weren't doing anything for reasons. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, and it's been like one of the best things ever. 
because you can play so many other games that are way worth it, you know? I was a console guy for the longest time, and once I've been playing PC, it's like, well, I have so many options, and half the time they're free or cheaper. Well, not cheaper than free, but they're cheaper than what you'd buy them for, you know? So... Oh, yeah, you messed up now, dog. You about to get circled. Huah! I kind of want the Kratos quick time event from the end of, Gro of God of War 3. Oh, crap! My face. Oh god. No! No! Ah. There's no Phoenix Downs, is there? I guess not. Alright, let's try it again. How? How am I supposed to help you out? I'm dead! Crap. Oh man. Oh my face. I'm dead. You know what, Ash? I picked you up. Come pick me up, boy! Oh, my body. I'm dead. Yeah. That was the closest I've been. All right. Let me try one thing really fast. No, that's it. Ah, oh, so close. Okay, I'm feeling like I'm getting the strategy down. No, God. Oh. Fudge! Man! Dodge the- Oh, God! Dodge it! Oh, fudge! That's pretty good opening! Yeah, I'm pretty pleased with that. Dang it. Ah, fudge. Yeah. There it is, boys! God. Don't you M bison me, bro. Fudge, do not dodge at him. No bueno. Oh, you gotta be right at the tip of his sword. That's the best point. Crap. Yep. I'm gonna go all the way out. Heal. Yep. Yeah, it's like the minute you get stuck on that, the tip of that sword, you're kind of in trouble. Keep going forward. Dang it! It's 
so close. I'm going in. Yeah, boy! After 35 tries, you're gonna get bopped. Mm-hmm. Give me a quick time event. Let me punch him rapidly. Ooh. Yeah, don't peace. Ooh, job level up. Whew. Guys, my cheeks were clenched at the end of that bad boy. Let me tell you something. I've been fighting this dude for probably a good solid 20 minutes. That doesn't sound like very long in the grand scheme of things, I suppose, but you know what? It feels like a very long time coming. You know what I'm saying? Now the question is, can I carry my equipment from normal mode into hard mode with my job levels and my class and everything else in that? Thank you for playing the game. You are welcome. This game was freaking dope. All the memes and all the trailers, were they worth it? Yeah, kind of. But you know what? It was great. Let's take a survey so we can all get my opinions on this bad boy. Filling out the survey after playing. Don't mind if I do. Yeah. All right, here we go. Give me the survey page, please. I'ma take it like no one's ever seen. Oh, overall experience. Bro, I was very satisfied. This was a solid game. Please, I played it on normal. I'm about to play it on hard. Um, I finished it, boys. I finished it. Um, let's see. How satisfied were you with the character equipment and graphics? I was pretty satisfied. It was pretty nice. Uh, it could be better, but again, I don't know when this is coming out. The overall atmosphere and stages, you know what? I didn't really notice them being good or bad. Um, I thought the color scheme was kind of interesting. How to decide with the level design and game mechanics? I freaking love the game mechanics. I think they're so good. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Satisfied. How satisfied were you with the actions and abilities available? I liked them. How sad? I liked it a lot. I think I'm gonna spend a lot of time just being stupid with it. The break gauge, it's pretty good. It reminds me a lot of Neo, probably because it's exactly from Neo. Ah, uh, once I got the soul burst mechanic, I thought it was fantastic. The soul shield, so good! So good. Lightbringer gameplay mechanic, you know what? It ain't bad. It ain't bad. It's nice to have a clutch save on you. Uh, weapons, what did I use? I used the greatsword a lot. I uh, used the swordsman and I used the warrior. I did not get a chance to use the other ones, however, uh, did you feel were easy to use? Did I feel the jobs, um, well, me personally, I'm not that great with the mage stuff. Um, I did like the spear, I thought the spear was super cool, and I liked the lancer. You can tell from this, I did not play the mage very much. How satisfied with the progression system? You know what, it progresses pretty good. Um, I actually liked it a lot. Yeah, this is a good one. Um, I feel like, I feel like the difficulty is pretty good. No big problems there. Um, how did you feel about the overall battle flow, flow and progression? Uh, there was that one spot where it got real Dynasty Warriors-ish, and if you were by yourself, it would be pretty hard. Um, and if you were with, with your team, it works out really good. How did you feel about the game balance when fighting the boss in the... Oh, it was so good, because I had to use all of my abilities from back in the thing. Very clever. The music and overall sound effects, you know what? The music is pretty darn interesting with some of its stuff. I'm going to just go back and record it and listen to it on my other time. Uh, how would you put the information that was displayed on the screen during battle? Uh, it was fine. Um, was there any information you would have liked to see that wasn't present? Um... Maybe ally info, uh, and that would be the health bars. I would like, I would like to know when my allies are dying. I think that'd be a good one. Um, yeah, I think because some of my allies died a couple times, and I didn't realize when they died, or you know what, I realized when they when they did die. I just didn't realize how close to death they were. So that'd be good. I would also love to be able to, care, to customize my allies. That'd be super cool. Um, Overall, it was pretty good. Let's see. Was there any information you would like to see that wasn't present? Um, you know what? Stat details. If stat details weren't present, I didn't I didn't really notice them. I did see the stats on the side. Um, I just don't know if there were stat details I missed. So we'll check that for now. I'm going to go back and check it later. How satisfied are we? Oh, man. It was so satisfying. Okay. Um, the tutorial was, was pretty good, but you learned there was a lot that you learned in um, 
you know, other stuff. You know what I would like to see in the tutorial is job switching. And the job switch mechanic that I missed, I tried a bunch of combinations while I was fighting, uh, you know, Garland or Chaos. I mean, we're just going to call him Mr. Piccolo because that's his voice. When I was fighting Mr. Piccolo, it was pretty darn tough when I had to start switching between stuff. Um, what types of games do you enjoy playing? Well, I like those. I like those. Um, I don't like those. I like those a lot. I like those. I like those. Uh, if you're just listening to this, it's I like the Monster Hunter. I like the Warriors series of the Musou games. I don't like Battle Royale games. I think those are just... I can't wait to never play one of those again. Fighting games, love them. Japanese RPGs, I'm about them. Dark Souls series, you know what? Yeah, I'd do that. Uh, Japanese games, adventure games like Yakuza and Metal Gear Solid, sign me up. Uh, Western adventure games like God of War, yeah, of course. Online action games like Genshin Impact, not really. South action games like Assassin's Creed, Hack and Slash, like the Diablo series. Um, I think that's it. Uh, I don't play other, what do we got? You know what we got, we're not gonna check that, they don't need to know that. Uh, how did you hear about the demo? Actually, I was just scrolling through the PlayStation Store. How did you hear about the game? Well, bro, we watched it on the YouTube, of course. I guess Games Media? I don't know. Those are the three. I watched on E3. That, that, that's what it was. Um, additional comments. Let's see. I would like to be able Oh my god, to customize my almost done boys typing on this thing my teammates play style uh yep that's how you spell it And equipment. And also see their health bars. Displayed. This feels like such a Neo demo with the ah, oh, it's so good, guys. If you have a chance to play this, I know I'm a small YouTuber slash Twitch streamer slash sometimes on Facebook slash just a man in his room playing games. If you played this game and um, you liked it or you didn't like it, and there was something you didn't like, if you played the Neo demos and you filled out the survey afterwards. They immediately took feedback from you, and it was great. Team Ninja is on top of this, like, constantly. Do the survey, get your opinion in there, because they will look at it, and they will implement it in the game. Like, it's it's amazing how they work, and they do it for the fans. It's super good. So, definitely get it in there if you can, and, um, you know, throw, it, throw them a bone, give it a shot. The memes were funny. The game is actually pretty darn good. Um, I'm gonna play it again on hard. I'm gonna I'm gonna go to bed. I'm gonna wake up and play it again. I'm gonna tell my friends, hey, play this game. It's freaking dope. Um, everyone, listen to my voice. Play it. It's dope. Fill out the survey for the game you want to play, and you might actually get it from Team Ninja. They're really good with that. Neo One and Neo Two were definitely had a lot of fan input, and they turned out fantastic. Um, so yeah, get in there, do it, guys. All right, uh, thanks for checking it out and enjoying my struggle against chaos. <laughs> um, I will check you guys later. Uh, yeah, all right, good game. Looking forward to playing it uh, when the full version releases. All right, guys, you have a good night. I will catch you later.